and has sustained life-threatening injuries. These are the most serious injuries that we see in burn care. She was in an enclosed space, the car as well as an apartment. So that allowed smoke as well as toxic gases to build up with a high concentration, which attacked her airway and prevented her from breathing. So she's most likely in a medically induced coma, meaning that she's on heavy sedation and she also has severe pain from her burn injuries. She has two very significant, serious, life-threatening injuries. This video showing the woman on a stretcher flailing and according to neighbors, screaming at the time. She may have been conscious at the time, but most likely with the level of smoke that she inhaled, consciousness would have um, would have decreased over time. She sustained an inhalation injury, which means there was damage to her airway. She could not breathe on her own. And she also sustained flame burns, third degree burns, which require surgery. Whenever you're in an enclosed space, like a car or an apartment or a house, that allows smoke and chemicals to build up, which damages the lungs and prevents you from breathing on your own. So the only way to survive is to have mechanical uh, ventilation, artificial breathing for you on a machine. That means that she could not breathe on her own, that she sustained smoke inhalation. She inhaled a lot of smoke, which damaged her airway. She had to be placed on mechanical ventilations or she would have died at the scene. So the first responders did an excellent job of getting her to a medical facility and then the appropriate treatment was rendered on a mechanical ventilator so that she could breathe. She's fighting for her life right now.